sometimes it's called PGS, sometimes it's called PGTA, but it's the so-called genetic testing of the embryos before transfer. Now, if we could test for 23,000 genes easily and non-invasively, that would be just fine, but no one can dream of doing that. That's not what the genetic testing is. If you're a carrier of some kind of severe mutation, okay, that's very, very accurate. It's one gene, two genes, and we can easily test for that in the embryo. But all that's really happening with routine testing is a screening process to count chromosomes. And the problem with this screening process is that most embryos that will become a normal baby have abnormal uh, numbers of chromosomes in some of the cells. But the good cells that have the normal chromosome complement will outgrow uh, the so-called aneuploidy or the bad ones. We've known it for a long time. If we were to do a karyotype, say get blood from any patient, from anybody, uh, and looked at 50,000 cells for research, not just at 20 cells. 50,000 cells, everybody has aneuploid cells. Everybody has cells that are abnormal. But the normal cells certainly outperform them, and the uh, small number of, uh, of aneuploid cells don't really hurt anybody. We, everybody here has that. So with the uh, screening, it's very, very important to know that we have mosaics. And uh, what's happening now is that we can actually define those mosaics, what percentage of cells are normal, what percentage of cells are abnormal. There's still a lot of error in it, uh, but it's getting uh, more accurate. You can't improve the, uh, the overall chance of pregnancy by doing this screening, but uh, it, we risk, in fact, throwing away embryos that could be babies. So, I'm not enthusiastic unless you ask for it. But we were the first people to do that, I mean, in the earliest days. And in certain cases, it's a really good idea. Recurrent miscarriage uh, is one example, recurrent failure to implant. And it is becoming more accurate, and uh, so uh, I don't want to pan it for everyone. If, if you want to do it, and if it's a good indication, or if you just want to do it, uh, then uh, we're really uh, very good at and very adept at that.